So we left off here, this one point perspective room, drew a table, drew a little shelf, drew a cabinet up here. Now let's put a light bulb in here and we'll cast some shadows on these objects. So here is the original one. It's a bit busy, so I just traced it and we'll draw some shadows on this with a light bulb. Let's put the light bulb in a really particular spot place maybe we, we could just make it up and put it like anywhere we wanted but since we can make it a specific location let's do that so here's um we'll put it hanging from the ceiling and this is where the viewer is looking right here so th this line is lined up with the viewer um, these are units to the left and units to the right but this measuring line is down here on the ground just because we measured everything down here on the ground and we projected it up. We could take the measuring line and put it up here at the ceiling. And so this is where um, we're gonna put the light is hanging from the ceiling. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna take the measuring line and raise it straight up. And let's make it one unit to the left of where the viewer's looking. So that would be here, one unit to the left. And here's a line that runs along the ceiling. And let's make it, let's say, um, eight units back from the front wall. So just like this one, we made this 13 by counting from here. Made, we made this our zero and counted over 13 and came back and we get 13. So we're going to make this eight. So I'm going to make this my zero. And here's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight. And take that and go back to the measuring point. And um, right there, that is eight from here to here. And let's um, hang it from, hang it from a, a wire down from the ceiling. And we'll make that, let's say three. So I have to measure this over here at the picture plane. And here's a one, two, three. So there's, whoops, three. And bring this back. And there's three. So here's our light bulb. And this is where that's attached to the ceiling. And here's the wire that runs down from the ceiling to the light bulb. Okay, I think I'll put a piece of paper under this because it's still like pretty busy there. It's easier to see. So here's this drawing we did earlier, just basics of the um, artificial light. We have our light bulb, which is the light angle vanishing point, and directly below that on the ground, 90 degrees from the surface that these, these sticks are. This is where our ground line vanishing goes. So here's the light bulb. So what we want to do is drop a line straight down from this onto the floor. And the best way to do this is to wrap a line around the building to find the intersection. We know it's going to be along this line. It's gonna be somewhere here. So the best way to find that is take this, wrap it along the ceiling, down to the floor. Go along the floor, and there, that is your ground line vanishing point. I could have wrapped it along this way and it came down or gone back to the vanishing point and come down that way. So there's um, a lot of different methods you can, you can use to find it, but they're all kind of the same basic principle. Wrapping a line around the surface, finding uh, an intersection. So here is our ground line vanishing point. And so now we just approach this like we 
did everything else that we've done so far with shadows. So this is just a collection of vertical and horizontal lines. And this is my ground line vanishing point. So, and this is just like a flagpole. So the, the shadow is going along the floor until the light angle hits it. And there's the end of the shadow. And then we work our way around. So here's a horizontal line. And this is a horizontal surface. So the shadow is going to be parallel to that. Until the light, <clears throat> until the light angle hits it. But the light angle um, kind of goes way over here. So let's do this. Let's find um, the shadow of this vertical line because now we have a shadow of a horizontal line that's casting a shadow on a vertical surface. And these two, these are not parallel with each other. These are at like right angles. So the way to find shadows of horizontal lines on a vertical surface is to find endpoints. This is one endpoint here. So I need to find another endpoint along this wall. And the best way to do that is to find the shadow of this flagpole. So this is a vertical line and this is parallel with this wall. So if I go from the ground line along here and it hits this wall, and then when it hits the wall, because these are two are parallel, these two surfaces are parallel with each other. When it hits the wall, it's going to go straight up like that. And that is the shadow of that point on this wall. So now these two just connect. It's kind of a small little shape here. Okay, so, and then this surface will all be in shadow. And then we work our way around. So here's a horizontal line that's casting a shadow on this vertical surface. These two are parallel with each other. So the shadow of this horizontal line is going to be parallel with that line. So it's just going to go to the same vanishing point as this line does until the light angle hits it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna take this ground line. Here's another flagpole way in the back and it's almost tangent with this. I think it's not, it's a little, this is a little bit in front of that corner. If not, let's just do that for argument's sake. So then it won't be parallel, tangent with this green line. So here's going from the back of this flagpole. It goes along here and hits this vertical wall. And then it does the same thing that this line does. It heads straight up the wall. And so this is the shadow of this surface back here that you don't see around the corner. And then we have the shadow of this horizontal line. And this is the same situation over here. This is a horizontal line and it's casting a shadow on this vertical surface. So we need to find two endpoints. Here's one endpoint there. Let's find, and we need to find an endpoint along this floor. So I'm gonna take this, go from the bottom here of this flagpole, just doing the shadow of this flagpole now. And here's the light angle from the top of the flagpole and it hits right there. So this little blue line is the shadow of this vertical line. And then we have the shadow of this horizontal line casting a shadow on this horizontal surface. These two are parallel with each other. So the shadow of that goes straight across like this. And then it hits this wall right there. And then these two connect. There's an endpoint, there's an endpoint, and these two connect. 
I'm taking a little bit of liberties down here just to make this a better sample so I don't have so many tangent lines. You know, I just kind of made up this shape randomly as I was doing it, and we just made up this light source. Um, so I was afraid we would get things that were kind of tangent lines. So, um, so cheated a little bit. So this is all in shadow. This side's in shadow. And this is in light, and the top of it is in light. The back side's in shadow also. Now that we don't see that one. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the shadow of this one. Now let's do a shadow of this, this um, shelf that's sticking out the wall. So see if we take this, see this kind of corresponds with this one because this thing's sitting on the ground. But then we have something sticking out of the wall. If you took this situation and you turned it like this, you would, this would now would be a wall. And see where the ground line vanishing point is? It's straight across from where the light source is, right on the wall. So to do the shadow of this, one way to approach it is to take this light and go straight across from this 90 degrees to this wall and put the ground line vanishing point here. There's a way to do it with this one, but it's a little kind of roundabout. And this one, I think, is a little more um, economical with the lines. So we come over here and put it on the wall, because this is on the wall. So now we have uh, this, this line. I think if I turn this whole thing 90 degrees um, counterclockwise, then this would be a vertical line. And then this is going to go along the, this wall until the light angle hits it. And now we have this vertical line here is parallel with this wall. So the shadow of that is hitting up the wall until the light angle cuts it off. And then we have the shadow of this line that's going to the, the center of vision. This line is parallel with the wall. So the shadow is also going to go to the center of vision. And that's, that's it. That's the shadow of the shelf. And last one, this guy is attached to the ceiling. So this point here, we're going to use this as our ground line vanishing point. If I turn this 180 degrees, then it would be like this situation. See, this is coming up from the floor. If this was upside down, this would be coming up from the floor. And see where the ground line is on the floor? vanishing point is on the floor with the object, this would be the same situation here. So this ground line vanishing point is on the surface that the object is attached to. It's also attached to this wall. So we could do something like this, just bring this across to the other side like that and put the ground line vanishing point on this wall. There's lots of different options. So here's ground line, kind of doing this like a flagpole. And it keeps going along here. And then it hits this vertical wall. And this is a vertical line. These two, two, are, these two surfaces are parallel with each other. So the shadow of this, when it hits this, is going to go straight along the wall, parallel with the line that's creating the shadow. It's going to do that until the light angle cuts it off. Okay, so this blue line is the shadow of this line. Then that point 
the shadow of that point is there. This connects to this corner with a straight line. So this is going to connect to here. See, this is a horizontal line. This is um, 90 degrees to this vertical surface. They're not, it's not parallel with this vertical surface. So you need to find two endpoints and it touches the wall. So there's an endpoint and we've already had that endpoint. So here's our shadow.